Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes is one of the launch titles of the Daydream VR platform and it has taken the VR community by storm. It's a multiplayer game in which a player in VR has to defuse a bomb with the help of a second player in the real world who is the bomb defusal expert thanks to a manual that has to be printed out beforehand. The game is genius in its simplicity and how it is the first local multiplayer game that allows players to play simultaneously with only one headset. The player in VR is located in an office room which is equipped with an armed bomb that counts down from 5 minutes. The player can pick up the bomb with a motion controller and rotate it in all directions to inspect it. The bomb consists of several modules that each have to be diffused in order to stop the bomb from exploding. These modules all pose completely different challenges for the bomb diffuser. It could be the famous wires that have to be cut, it could be keypads with exotic characters, it could be buttons, mazes, morse codes, knobs. The developers have been really creative in their bomb designs. The bomb diffuser now uses the motion controller to interact and diffuse each of the modules. He can only successfully do so by communicating with the player in the real world who has to constantly read about the different mechanisms in the bomb diffuser manually that had to be printed out before. Bomb diffuser and bomb expert have to constantly communicate with each other, describing the module and describing what actions to take in order to defuse the whole bomb in a team effort. The gameplay mechanics work extremely well and it's simply thrilling to sit next to an armed bomb in the virtual world that is about to explode unless you and your bomb expert communicate efficiently in order to neutralize the threat. The game looks good and believable. Of course, due to its simple premise, you cannot expect a huge variety in the graphics department. But the game delivers in putting you in front of that bomb and creating a thrilling atmosphere that would really put you into the nerve-wracking situation of having to defuse the bomb. The bomb itself and the different modules are well designed and look believable enough to have you feel the adrenaline in your body when the timer counts down to zero. The game does a great job in terms of immersion. Whenever a game has the power to make you feel that you're really in that situation, including all the emotions that you would feel if it was real, it succeeds. And that is the case with Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. In terms of comfort, there are no problems whatsoever since there are no camera movements. You won't feel sick while playing this game and you're simply sitting in front of a ticking time bomb. It gets as comfortable as it would get having 5 more minutes to live. Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes is the VR surprise hit of 2016. It is easily the best game on Daydream VR right now if you happen to have a buddy to play it with. The simple yet genius game mechanics work extraordinarily well and have you engage in frantic conversations with your bomb expert in the real world in no time. Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes is simply fantastic and should not be missed by any daydreamer. Who would have thought that the best VR game this year is a multiplayer game? For the full written review of Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes and much more, check out daydreamdistrict.com and if you enjoyed this video, click on like and subscribe to never miss any Daydream District video in the future.